Hello, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are ready for a fun day ahead. We are going to do a what I eat today. Got to get lots of stuff together. I am home today so that you guys know how much that's my favorite day to get all the things prepped and ready. We had an amazing weekend. I didn't do much yesterday and that's okay. So today we're just gonna get all the little things done and get ready for the week ahead. So I can't wait to share all the things, all the eats, because you know how much I love to cook on the days that I'm home. So I'm ready. All right, so following the Fly Lady app consistently, all this week, so I will show you what it looks like, and um, we're gonna check some things off the list. French toast making time, French toast sandwich making time. So I'm going to spray both of my skillets and get them ready and heat it up. I busted my egg when I uh, laid it on the counter, so I'm gonna go ahead and crack that open. I'm going to add one egg and about one egg white to my egg mix. And I'm going to add some spinach as well. Because I'm trying to get all of the goodness in. Okay. Just a little bit of spinach in there. Got a little bit of salt and I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper. To make the French toast, you're gonna to do about three tablespoons of egg whites, a dash of vanilla, a, well, a splash of vanilla, <laughs> a dash of cinnamon, and my secret ingredient, Greek yogurt instead of milk. You can put sweetener in here. I do not because I feel like it's sweet enough. So I blend that really well. And I'm gonna show you. Friends. So my egg white omelet egg is done. Look how pretty that is, you guys. So perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that to the side. Turn the heat off, back that up. Now, I'm going to, my skillet is ready. I like to have it really hot so it gets that good crispy on each side. And I'm just going to place my bread into my egg and goodness mixture and place it on the skillet. Time to flip. Look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. And I'll probably flip it one more time just because I like it super browned. Such a yummy sandwich, you guys. I don't want that. I'm gonna toast that up. All right, I'm placing my bacon in the microwave. Two slices of turkey bacon in the microwave and Appleton Farms turkey bacon. That's what I buy. All right, let's flip this again. See how perfect it is. I love the turkey bacon. It's kind of like popcorn. When it stops popping, I know it's ready. I know that's goofy. All right, so let's, get a, let's construct the sandwich. So I've got my French toast ready and toasted. So I'm going to use 10 grams of grape jelly. I love the savory. 87 time, you guys know how I roll. All right, so I'm gonna use 10 grams of jelly. All right, nine will do it. And I'm gonna spread that out on my toast, my French toast. All right, and I'm going to place the Laughing Cow Cheese Squares. I love these because they're already proportioned and I don't have to worry about measuring and all the things, so. All right, so, my cheese. And you can always omit the cheese if you're not feeling the cheese. All right, my turkey bacon, it's perfect. So two minutes for two slices is normally 
what I do. Put that other piece go. Okay. There's like a piece missing. Where'd it go? All right, so my two pieces of turkey bacon. And then my pretty egg white and egg spinach ready to go on. And then that, my friends, is the most beautiful breakfast. Remember that what I eat in a day and I didn't record? Okay, just went to Walmart and Marshall's. Had so much fun. I have to show, oh my gosh, you guys, the cover-ups are amazing. Yes, I look like Hot Mess Express. I don't care. And I went to Ollie's. Oh my gosh, they have the greatest stuff ever. Here to meet Calista because I got her devotional, so I'll be back. You're supposed to talk and you're supposed to look into this. Don't look at yourself. You're so cute. You're so cute. You see my profile? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I am back. Okay, so I needed to uh, tell you guys how cool Ollie's is. So if you don't have one, it's like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Fred's kind of. It has like all clearance type stuff that would be on clearance at a store. Anyway, so I did get some pillows for Chaz and some pillowcases. They were super cheap, like $1.99 for two pillowcases. So I needed to, his pillows were terrible, you guys, like the amount of ick. So I am helping the boy out, but, and I got him some pillows, so that's in the back. And then I went to Wally World. You guys, all I went for was just a couple of essentials like that we needed, and you guys, I did, however, spend $15 on tank tops, but they had those athletic brand tank tops that I love so much, and I got me three of those, so I'm really excited about that, so I did buy me some tank tops, but like I only had to get deodorant and creamer and the clear elastic bands and goodies bands, and I had to get Epsom salts, so I'm like, seriously, but anyway, I did put back a rug, I was going to get a rug for Chaz's bathroom, his bathroom rug is just mad, but I really could really just wash it really, really, really good. It's a great looking rug. There's nothing wrong with it. I just need to. He just, he's just grubby. It's white and cr it's um, cream and gray and boys. It's just, you know, it's one of those things. You guys that have light colored furniture, I don't know how you've done it. Like, I can't even have a nice rug and Chaz not ruin it. So I don't know how y'all have couches and stuff like that. <laughs> it blows my mind. Like, my kids are so gross. Anyway, so. I went to, I was going to go to Chick-fil-A and get lunch, and the line is always long, and Chick-fil-A is not my favorite. I'm sorry. I am not a huge Chick-fil-A fan. We grew up with McDonald's. That's just what we did. Chick-fil-A was just like a luxury food. I know that sounds really weird, but it was when we were kids. Anyway, not my favorite, but they do have a gluten-free bun, which is my jam. I'm all about, if you have gluten-free stuff, there is a, um, but I don't want him to get hurt. Like he needs to get on the road. Okay. Anyway, sorry, squirrel. So, say so I just lost my train of thought. Oh, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> sorry, yes. So I was going to get a grilled chicken sandwich with a gluten-free bun. I was super stoked about that, but just decided not to and went by Mickey D's. Guess what, guys? McDonald's doesn't have grilled chicken anymore. They got Diet Coke. That's all that matters. So I got my Diet Coke. I'm gonna go home and cook a good lunch, which I should have wanted to do. Anyway, I'm glad I went out and got my errands run and did not. I wanted, one thing I'm really trying to do is batch content for Instagram on my days off. So I'm not having to worry about getting those things done. But on my days off, I like to get all the cleaning, all the errands run, all that kind of stuff. And I don't want to have to videotape and put a full face on and do all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's, it's excuses upon excuses here, but I'm serious. Like sometimes I just want to go get the things done and come back. So that's what I'm going to do. It's almost 12 o'clock. So I'm going to eat some lunch, get Chaz's room set back up and, um, the gym is not till 4.30, so that's great. CrossFit doesn't start at 4.30. Love seeing baby girl. Wish I could do jazzercise with her tonight. I really could go to the gym early, but I like doing the class. I really, really like doing the class. So, anyway, let's spend time with baby girl. But, anyway. Oh, decisions, decisions. Oh, decisions. Anyway. Um, all right, so that's that. So, got my McDonald's Diet Coke, went to Ollie's, Walmart, and Marshall's fun. Glad it's over. I'm gonna get home. I am doing tonight for dinner. I really want to do, I might do the
the Greek meatballs tonight for you guys since it's a new recipe and I already have the tzatziki dip made. I might do Greek meatballs. That might be what I do tonight for dinner. So we'll do some rice bowls. <laughs> we don't even have to make rice. I've got it done already. So that's good. So that's what you'll see for dinner tonight. So I'm going to go home, get some lunch. I don't know what I want to eat. Do you ever feel that way? You're like, eh, I just don't know what I want. So let's go home. And let's figure out where we're going to have lunch. Hey, friends, I am a sucker for a Reuben. So I'm going to make me a wrap. I buy the Live G Free from Aldi. And I'm just going to use one of these wraps. And let me tell you the calories and macros on them. So the wraps are 120, 5 grams of fat, and 22 grams of carbs, which I think is amazing. So I'm going to do this. The only thing that I do not have that I'm so sad about is I have no sauerkraut, but that's okay. I'm going to just do spinach and go with it. So I'm going to, I love this fat-free turkey breast from Walmart, the Great Value brand. I'm going to use three. I'm just going to roll it. So I'm going to lay the three pieces out and get it where you guys can see it. I'm just going to do one piece of cheese. I know, right? Like so. And I'm going to uh, lay out my spinach. Some good green stuff on there. And then two tablespoons of the Thousand Island dressing. I might just do one. I'm just going to do one tablespoon of the dressing today. Just smear it on out there. So one tablespoon of the Thousand Island dressing. So I'm just going to wrap this sucker up. Cut it. And there you go. Look at that. So gorgeous. Go in your room. What are you doing? Just go to your room. Can you stop being weird? I'm not being weird. Go look what I did to your room today. I'm not done yet. I'm working on it. I got you new pillows. We have pillow covers and everything. So they're not nasty. And I got you. And I used whatever we had left over. Isn't it cute? And I cleaned your room for you. You're welcome. You, you, put, gotta... the, you put the guitar that I haven't not used since you got it from me on Christmas like uh -huh. five years ago. We need to get rid of that. Hey, um, guess what? So both of those chargers fit. Go look who's over there by your... Go look who's over there sitting. She's going to help you get up in the mornings. I can't play it. <laughs> Go look. I even have you a new friend over there. Look. making time. These are Greek um, meatballs and I am just kind of throwing together what I put on my Greek chicken the other night. So I've got about a pound and a quarter of meat. I'm going to add in some about a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, um, probably a teaspoon of oregano, 
and of course dill about a half of a teaspoon of dill I'm sorry that was celery salt and then the dill about a half a teaspoon I'm going to combine these I'm going to add in two tablespoons of the tzatziki dip that I've already got together. This tzatziki dip was amazing. I will put that clip in. And then I'm going to add oatmeal. I wish I had breadcrumbs, but I do not. So oatmeal will do in a pinch. So I'm gonna combine. See? I'm just going to scoop these into my muffin pan, much easier. And I'm just gonna scoop them in and make little Greek meatballs. in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes all right all right let's chop some veggies so i've got zucchini and squash we're gonna get these veggies chopped i have already got my greek seasoning which i will show you guys that recipe for that but i've got it pre-made i forgot all about it and i am so stinking excited you guys so i'm doing just a sheet pan veggie bake and so I'm just going to pre-cut all my veggies, throw them on my pan. I'm doing two a small zucchini and one large squash, and that way we'll have enough for a little bit of the leftovers. All right, so my zucchini and squash are ready. So let me show you how I'm going to season these veggies and how I'm gonna do this. I also will add some, about a cup of the onion bell pepper mix. You guys know how much I love this stuff. It just gives such good flavor to the veggies. I am all about baking our veggies. They seem to be so much better, and I don't know how you guys feel about it, but when I saute them, sometimes they just get so slimy, and I don't know. I just, I really, really, really enjoy the baked veggies on the tray, on the baking sheet in the oven, so I'm excited, and it just makes life easy with one pot, so I've got my Greek seasoning already pre-mixed. Um, and I will share that, you guys. This is terrible. I'm gonna have to get y'all hot mess express. My sprayer on my my olive oil spray is bad. All right, so I'm just gonna move, gonna move those around a little bit. I'm going to add salt to the veggies, some celery salt, just like the flavoring of celery salt. Trying to make sure my veggies are all even. Okay. Now I'm going to add my Greek seasoning. All right. So I've got it pre-mixed. I'm just going to sprinkle it over. I'm going to use about this. It just smells delightful, you guys. Such a... Didn't realize you can make your own. Yes, I mean, I do. I try to make my own seasonings as much as I can. You just learn so much when you're baking and cooking and doing all the things. You learn so much. All right, so there is the sheet pan of veggies ready to go. And I'll put right, those in so there. I'm making some Greek rice. We already had... How many cups do you think this is? About three cups of rice already ready from over the weekend. So I'm just going to add two. I just added a little bit of garlic and a tablespoon and a half of butter. I'm 
I'm gonna do a huge fiber bag. Will you get me a jar and just fill some, uh, put some, a teaspoon of that broth in there and just um, a cup of water. What broth? The broth in the, the can in the, and the little plastic container in the. Drinking my protein shake, guys. Gotta get it in. So it's got one scoop of protein and one scoop of collagen. I'm gonna put some lemon juice. Okay, so Dave made me, this is one teaspoon of the chicken broth base, and then I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice, sorry guys, I'm not showing you this. Lemon juice in the jar. And then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of the Greek seasoning that I made, and then I'm gonna shake it. I love these mason jars for all the things we need to combine. I'm just gonna shake that up. Now I'm gonna pour it over the rice mixture. And let that just, oh my God, it smells so good. And just kinda let all that goodness soak in and cook through. And then I'll show you guys the bowls when we are done. God, that looks good. You know, I'm kind of getting really three friends. Here she is. She's gorgeous. Guys, it turned out so amazing. Boom. Honestly, friends, and that is a wrap of what I eat today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Always remember, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are loved, you are enough, and you are flipping phenomenal. Mwah.